Hi children, I hope you all are doing well at home. Let's start the session with grammar prepositions. Let me start the class with a motivation song. Hope you'll enjoy it. Just listen to what I'm singing and later you can repeat it with me. Shall we start? Yes. Just listen to all the words which I'm using it in the song. On the table, on the table, on the table there's a book. Under the chair, under the chair, under the chair there's a pen. Over the mountain, over the mountain, over the mountain we can see clouds. Above the clouds, above the clouds, above the clouds we can see a plane. I come from Chennai, I come from Chennai, I come from Chennai to the town. I came by bus, I came by bus, I came by bus to see you all. Please be safe, please be safe, please be safe at your home. It is quarantine, it is quarantine, it is quarantine, be aware. How the song children? Hope you liked it. On the table, on the table, on the table there's a book. Under the chair, under the chair, under the chair there's a pen. Over the mountain, over the mountain, over the mountain we can see clouds. Above the clouds, Above the clouds, above the clouds, we can see a plane. I come from Chennai, I come from Chennai, I come from Chennai to the town. I came by bus, I came by bus, I came by bus to see you all. Please be safe, please be safe, please be safe at your home. It is quarantine, it is quarantine, it is quarantine, be aware. Okay, you just take a glance of the song. Just see the first two lines. On the table, there's a book. So, where's the book now? It is on the table. Third line, under the chair, there's a pen. So, where's a pen? It's under the chair. Fifth line, over the mountain, we can see clouds. So, where are the clouds now? It is over the mountain. And next, above the clouds, we can see a plane. So, where is the plane now? It is above the clouds. So, so far, all these eight lines, we see the position of a thing or something else. And next comes, I come from Chennai to the town. So, here it is from where I come. Next, I came by bus to see you all. So, by means, how did you come by bus? So, the last four lines is for you to be safe at your home. So, you all have to be at home during this period. And the last two lines, since this is a quarantine period, you all have to be aware of everything and stay at your home. Okay. Now, let's get into the topic, prepositions. So, as the name indicates, pre-position. So, pre is prayer, that is before. And position means proper place. So, it, it, it means where it has to be. Okay. So, let me tell you what is the definition of a preposition. So, preposition is a word or phrase that connects a noun or a pronoun to a verb or an adjective in a sentence. Let me repeat it again. A preposition is a word or a phrase that connects a noun or a pronoun to a verb or an adjective in a sentence. Let's go on with the example children. Look at the picture. The book is on the table. Here the book is a noun and the table is also a noun. So the word which relates both the noun is a preposition. So here on is a preposition. Next picture, the ball is in the box. So, the ball is also a noun. The box is also another noun. 
So the word which relates both the noun is in. So in is a preposition. Next, a cat is under the chair. A cat is a noun and the chair is again a noun. So the word that relates both the noun is under. Next, we walk across the road to reach the school. So here comes a pronoun. So, so far we have seen noun and here comes the pronoun and the noun, the road and the school. So here across is a preposition that relates the pronoun and the other two nouns. The apple is inside the box. The apple is a noun. The box is also a noun. So here the preposition inside relates both the noun. They walked along the street. So here they denotes the children. So it is a pronoun and the street is a noun. So the word which relates both the noun and the pronoun is the along. The plane is above the clouds. So the plane is a noun. The clouds is also a noun. And above is a preposition that relates both the nouns. 4. These chocolates are for my friend. From. I got a gift from my teacher. Around. Ram walked around the tree. Within. Preeti arrived within 10 minutes. In. There is some milk in the fridge. Two. This book belongs to Arun. By. They were sitting by the tree. Since. I have been learning music since 2000. After. We will meet after lunch. Before, I am going to the shop before I go to home. Till, we waited till Tom arrived. Until, I can't wait until he comes. During, do not talk during the class. Beside, the dog sat beside him. Besides, what else you like besides dancing? Preposition take a position of a noun in place of time, manner and direction. So here we are going to deal with only one type of preposition that is preposition of time. So time is pretty much important to all of us in our lives. So wherever we go and whatever we do, it is necessary to know how we relate to other people through time. So let's have a closer look about preposition of time. So I'll give you the definition of time. So it describes when something happened or happens or will happen. Here it talks about the past, the present and the future timings. So what are the commonly used preposition of times? So here you go. On, at, in, to, by, for, from, since, after, before, till, until, during, around, within, beside, besides, and lot more. So here we are about to deal with only five of preposition of time. They are at, on, in, after and before. So let's go with at first. So at denotes a specific time. So where do we use at in a sentence? So the preposition of time at can be used with times of day, 
meal times holidays and expressions times of day includes hours and parts of the day example i wake up at 5 am i go to bed at 10 pm parts of the day there will be a gentle breeze at night holidays without day come and visit us at thanksgiving time pravin goes to theater at the weekend i wish to be with you at the moment let's go on with the examples so first hours at 6 am or pm i'll meet you at 6 pm today so in this sentence we see two pronouns i and you so both the pronouns are linked by a preposition at can you tell me one more example children for us yes i will meet you at 7 pm today fine next comes parts of the day at night or at midnight so children what do you see at night can you name it yes moon and the stars so you can see stars at night you can also see the moon at night next comes holidays without day for example at christmas at diwali at ramzan at easter they sing carols at christmas i hope you all children would have seen people singing carols at christmas time next time at the weekend at the moment so we always go to the beach at the weekend so we still many of us have habit of going to the beach or to the park at the weekends next at the moment i don't want to talk about this at the moment so at the moment refers to the time at present okay let's have a recap at denotes a specific time and it can be used with hours parts of the day holidays without day and at the present time and next we talk about in for time periods the preposition of time in can be used with months seasons years decades centuries long periods and parts of the day so centuries for example in the 19th century in the 20th century etc they built the fort in the beginning of 19th century next decades so a decade is about 10 years so in the 90s in the 80s in the 70s etc computers became popular in the early 90s got it computers became popular in the early next we talk about years in 2019 or 2005 or 2000 and so on corona virus was identified in 2019 so can you tell me one example with the year children fine let me tell you i was born in 1988 so you can also tell the year which you born next come months and weeks so months in july in august in january in february etc my birthday falls in july so children you can tell when your birthday falls in yes good weeks in 5 weeks in couple of weeks in 10 weeks etc 
we will complete this work in five weeks next seasons you all know how many seasons are there children four yes summer winter autumn and spring so we go to the hill stations in summer yes we like the hill stations during summer periods of time in the future i may sign a deal with you in the future so it talks about the future time holidays in the easter holiday or in the diwali holiday or in the ramzan holiday we will join you in the easter holiday again comes parts of the day in the morning in the afternoon in the evening so children here you must note i did not tell you night or midnight so night and midnight we use only at before those words and in we use only for the morning afternoon and evening i drink coffee in the morning so children what do you drink in the evening yeah it may be tea or boost or horlicks or whatever may be according to your wish and we'll have a recap with in and in can be used for denoting period of time in general that is with the months seasons years decades centuries long period of time and parts of the day next we'll move on to on so on is very specific that is we use only with days and dates and some parts of specific day the preposition of time on denotes more specific time and can be used with days dates and parts of specific day dates on tuesday on saturday on my birthday etc example i will see you on friday we shall have a get together on saturday we will be having a meeting on tuesday dates example friends and relatives gather on our anniversary we will be going on an excursion on 15th june parts of specific day on monday morning on friday evening on saturday night on sunday afternoon etc example we go to the church on sunday morning friends gather on every friday evening where are you going on sunday i'll meet you on monday will you meet me on tuesday so likewise you can add the days with on next dates that is very specific on 4th april or 2nd february 1st march etc the exam will be on 4th april next specific dates that is special dates on my birthday on my anniversary etc i receive gifts on my birthday children do you receive gifts on your birthday yes next day plus part of the day so so far we have seen parts of the day we use at and in here day plus part of the day that is you have to add a day before the part that is on friday night on sunday morning on tuesday afternoon likewise we will have a party on friday night next holidays with day so before we have seen holidays or days here holidays with day on ramzan day on diwali day etc we share gifts on christmas day how many of you share gifts during the festival seasons hope all of you will do that with your neighbors and your friends let's have a small recap so on we are using it for very specific time that is with days days and parts of specific day next comes after and before after it talks about something that happens later than something else so when i tell the 
example you might come to know i go to work after breakfast that is i have completed my work and after that i used to take my breakfast so an action is completed and after that i am again doing another action so we eat a fruit after supper so i finish my eating and after that i am taking a fruit i will call you after i get home from work so once i reach my home i'll call you after that next before we talk about something that happened earlier than something else earlier you know earlier this is before example he arrived before me i sleep before 10 pm so before an action begins some other action has completed have you seen in before yes so we'll have a recap after and before after talks about later thing and before talks about the earlier thing so children now let me show you some cards and you have to tell me the proper preposition now children let me show you few cards and you have to tell me which preposition suits the best so your choices will be at on in my birthday is yes children come out with the answers yes in january my birthday is in january i get up dash 7 o'clock come on children tell me for time what do you use at i get up at 7 o'clock she will meet me friday yes on yes she will meet me on friday i hope children you all will be clear with on at in after and before
children will have a sum up preposition what is a preposition a preposition is a word or a phrase that relates a noun or a pronoun in a sentence example i'm having a cup here and a ball so i'm placing this ball in the cup so the ball is in the cup so ball is a noun and cup is also again a noun so the word that relates ball and the cup is in and that is preposition so preposition of time so here we saw about at in on after and before fine children i hope you all enjoyed this session practice always makes our life easier so preposition of time is very important to us and you learn it by knowing the difference between each of them and use it in our lives and children finally do you remember the song yes preposition song do practice it at home and enjoy with your friends we'll meet you in the next session till then take care and bye